Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. We're glancing at this room that we found ourselves in. Hello, everybody, my name is Mayhem. I'm Jadu. I'm Duke. And I said, don't have to talk. And we're back yeah. with another episode of 999. Yes, it's June, June in the narrator. So me, it's twice. June, June, June. So it's. <laughs> and Jarinator. <laughs> the Junerator. <laughs> but Jupe glanced around the room that they had found themselves in. Ta da! We went down to Edek. The first thing he noticed was a set of thick iron bars. So They're... thick. They ran to the length of the room, separating the left elevator from the right one. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then perhaps, in the corner of the room that housed the elevators, Jupe found an opening. He walked up to it and stuck his head around the corner. Sunk. Yeah. Six! A long straight hallway stretched out in front of him. Wait, it's nine upside down. We found it. <laughs> oh my god. That door at the end of the hallway, there's something written on it. Yeah, let's go have a look. Junpei and Jun set, set off down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Aren't you glad you grabbed that water? <laughs> no. Junpei yeah. and Jun set off down the hallway at a brisk clip, somewhere between a run and a jog. They were drinking brisk. Before long, they found themselves in front of the door. On it was a number written in bright red paint. Six. I <laughs> knew <laughs> And, uh, Stand up your door. and indeed, there was a red bolted to the wall right next to the door. I can't. Of course, with only two people, there wasn't much they could do with it. All right, let's head back. Yes. Junpei and Jun turn and they head back to Sea Deck. Well, I'm glad we found it and just left. On their way back, Junpei noticed a map on the wall. As it turned out, it was a burnt map of the ship's interior for E Deck. But, 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 but. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it said burn, huh. so you can't look at it. Hmm. So you guys found door one. Ah! They met back up with Santa and Logos, who had explained what they found. Apparently, there was another numbered door on A-Deck, just like the one on E-Deck, beyond the door that the Earth Key opened. According to Santa and Lotus, there was a one on the door. All told, they had discovered two new doors, the sixth door and the one door. Hi, Duke. You have to it's die. Interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Lotus was quiet for a moment, lost in thought. See, well, I was lost in thought. I wasn't. <laughs> <sure. laughs> some other things. Well, we don't know, really know if all of E deck is safe. Then <laughs> do. Why is we he? Only check why is it like he was Indian elevator. for a second? <laughs> <laughs> we really don't know. <laughs> Even so, it's still very interesting. Yeah. You said the six door was there, right? Was there three of them? Was there four of them? No. Do you even know who you are? you <laughs> went. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then that means Zero planned this, all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. Yeah. I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much you wish it cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. No, the boat weighs wow. multiple! Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to the whole lot with the, to a whole lot of cash. We hate these nine people specifically. <laughs> yeah, um, Mr. Stockbroker and <laughs> Stripper. <laughs> yes, it does make sense. Totally. What is this shot? That thought made him go quiet for a moment. June bit her lip while Lotus sighed softly to herself, and Santa cracked a stiff neck and stared Sigh. off in the distance at nothing. <laughs> Junpei is dead now that Santa cracked his stiff neck. <laughs> um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. June looked up at Junpei with large, pleading eyes. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Oh, no! <sighs> You guys leaving me behind? 8 plus 6 plus 5 equals 19. 1 plus 9 equals 10. 1 plus 0 equals 1. Just kidding. Alright, let's go. Lotus words were all the impetus they needed. Back to the large hospital room they went. Here we are, walking. 
Love this game. <laughs> Yar. Resident Evil. I gotta check something real quick. Yar. Resident Evil did things to the video game genre. Yeah. Or to the video game industry. industry. The moment they stepped inside, a tremendous voice echoed across the room. <laughs> ah! Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? It was seven. Ace was right behind him, and Clover was behind Ace, uh, though she seemed to be hanging back. It looked as though they were something strange about them. Seven had a look of a man who's seen a ghost. Ace was just Aww. pale, just as pale, and Clover looked as she was only moments from passing out entirely. Aww. For a long moment, they simply stood there, looking at one another. Junpei looked around nervously, waiting for someone else to speak. No one did. He looked at Seven. What, what, what happened? What happened? What happened? What what, 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 <laughs> what the hell kind of question is that? Seven was trying very hard to be angry, but something had shaken him hard. His shoulders were trembling and his voice was strained. Snake was. No! Snake is. Seven couldn't finish. He just l looked away, his face twisted by. Junpei wasn't sure what. Instead, Snake Ace was a smooth criminal. <laughs> Dude, we, I only had like five lines for him. <laughs> <laughs> he took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and spoke. It's your fault for caring about it. Snake is <laughs> dead. <clears throat> he died just as the ninth man did. Ooh. It was as if all of the air had suddenly been sucked out of the room. Junpei felt his heartbeat quicken, and then he realized he had been he was having trouble breathing. He could feel cold sweat beating on his forehead and neck. June, Santa, and Lotus looked the way he felt. All three were frozen in, in place, their faces white. Oh my god! That's not true, is it? But try to repeat myself. Oh! We should make sure. What do you mean, make sure? Oh, shit, that's what you mean. <laughs> yeah, right, we should. They nodded to one another and headed for the number three door. Wait! Not that way! They stopped short and turned to look at seven. He was pointing at the door with no number. We stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Where, where is he? The shower room on the left side of the hallway. Why are we investigating? I put a broom in there too to keep the door open and to clean the mess. We can get in without going through the number door, right? Yeah, that's right. Their new destination clear, Junpei and his companions headed for the door with no number. <laughs> Once in the hallway, it was easy to spot the middle door on the left wall. It hadn't been open while they had been through before. But now, just as Seven had said, it was a broom stuck in between the door and the frame, keeping it open. And they looked for it for a moment and stepped inside. Sir, it smells horrible. <laughs> Lotus wrinkled her nose and covered her mouth in disgust. Even Santa pinched his nose shut. Ay ay ay! Yeah, this is pretty awful. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna puke. It was just as bad as they had said, perhaps worse. A hideous smell filled the air so thick that they could almost taste it. It was sour, the s a smell of fish, feces, and burnt meat. Ugh. So snakes taste like chicken? I mean, that's what they say. It worked. Right now, all I taste is chicken. Oh. It worked its way through Junpei's nose and down his throat to pound against the entrance to his stomach. He put his hands over his mouth and struggled to keep what little was in his stomach, what little was in his stomach where it belonged. Oh, HR. <laughs> they didn't have to wonder where the body was. <laughs> Human resources, there's a bomb in me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> there was blood everywhere. A few arms of split. Of spl the splatter reaching towards them as they walked through the door. All one had to do was follow the many radio arms to the source. The body itself was hidden behind a divider. June, you should stay here. But it's already August. June, stay here, my but, love. But, 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 don't, don't go into the, the, the darkness. Please, just do me a favor, okay? But, 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 but. All right. He didn't give her a chance to say no. He put his hand on her shoulder as if to shove her in the ground like a tent pole, turned, and walked towards the end of the fire. Stay here, bitch! <laughs> Down. Digs into the <laughs> ship. You'll stay here. It felt as if it took an eternity for him to get there. Santa and Lotus followed, timid and nervous as a pair of children. Eventually, they reached the divider. They looked at one another and nodded slowly. Junpei put his hands on the divider and peered around the corner. 
Hi, Snake! For a moment, he forgot to breathe. He felt his heart collapse at his chest like an empty cigarette carton, and time froze. He knew that in that instant, he would take the image before him to the grave. Ew! It's all brown! <laughs> it's still Sorry, red. I fought it. It's still red, so this has to be recent. Yeah, what was left of the body sat in the sea of blood. Chunks of flesh torn from the body sat in the blood like tiny islands in this great red sea. A vast ragged hole had been torn in the torso, and what remained of his intestines spilled out of it like fresh spaghetti. It shouldn't still be red. We've been recording this game for 12 hours. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's only been like five minutes. <laughs> Smaller chunks of meat had splattered against the wall, becoming stuck there as they dried. Globules of yellowish fat had left trails like tiny slugs as gravity pulled them down the wall, Jesus even as Christ. they dried to it. Just like a said. Man, they were right? <laughs> Santa's voice was strained. Junpei su suspected he was holding down some vomit of his own. Just like the ninth man. Just like the dog. The detonator, detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. It looked as though the explosion had been quite powerful. His legs were both bent in an odd, unnatural way, and his left arm had been split open, exposing the painful, painful white bone of his ul ulna. His bracelet lay next to him. It seemed to have hit the wall hard enough to have shattered the display, which lay on the ground in pieces. Half of his head has simply collapsed. The blood coating almost made it look like a raw pizza dough covered in tomato sauce. Hey, Duke! <laughs> tomato sauce reference! Tomato sauce, like Bloodborne. La, la, the Bloodborne! This game's on PlayStation 4? His clothes, too, were covered in blood. <laughs> the burgundy tie, the white shirt... I mean, I could be playing on a PS4 the jacket, controller. The jacket, the yellow piping, and the gray schleck. Wait, what? Did like two seconds of time. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Two seconds have passed. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> the white shirt is jacket with yellow piping and the gray slacks. They were all familiar to Junpei. No mistake about it. It's Snake. 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 <laughs> In her voice. Snake. 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 Lotus's voice was unnaturally deep and strained, and Junpei heard it catch in her throat. Da, 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 yeah, apparently da, da. there's a remaster for the PlayStation 4. Hell yeah. Is it an actual game this time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's actually better. <laughs> because the it probably has voice acting. No! Where are the voice actors here? The squeal of tortured metal made Junpei's teeth curl. It sounded like the noise of a ghost would make. No matter how many times he heard it, he never got used to it. Every time it put him on his edge. <laughs> He's edging. <laughs> It didn't help that there was a girl nearby who looked far more like a ghost than a living human should. Clover! <laughs> Jack Clover! She sat on the edge of the bed, her head drooping listlessly onto her chest. Her eyes were blank and stared across the room at nothing. Her breathing was slow and mechanical. Aside from the rise and fall of her chest, she didn't move. Junpei felt as even a nudge might cause her to shatter into a thousand pieces. Nudge. Seven! A snake was probably murdered. Moy did it. Mordered. Moided. Chances are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. Seven lowered his voice, likely an effort to keep Clover from hearing what he had to say. There were four other people. Chances who... are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. <laughs> he was brutally murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed raspberries like everywhere. It was like he shit himself out of his stomach. You ever see the process of making jam? Imagine that, but it was a human. That snake. <laughs> the four other people in the Doesn't room... Doesn't help he was filleted. <laughs> the four other people in the room was Junpei and Seven. A Santa, June, and Lotus. Seven looked like, looked at each other... Each Looked at each one of them in turn and continued. I found his skin. You want to see his face? Uh, <laughs> pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. D uh, j d Jesus, man. Uh... First, the killers got snake to authenticate. Authenticate on the red to open door three. Okay, dude, I, I know you're going for the joke, but it's just... <laughs> I got it, don't worry. There we go. Then they shoved his... <laughs> then they shoved him into it alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Like, now you're talking at, like, a normal level, and then Clover's, like, in the distance starting to cry. <laughs> just, oh, fuck, I gotta be quiet. <laughs> Once that door shut, it was over. It was over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it. 
wouldn't do this any uh, do his any good, but he probably ran into the shower. Oh, room looking for the D E A D. If we went through door, we had the option to go through door three. If we went through door three, we would have found Snake. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. No, he would have already been dead. No, no, no. I'm saying it's just his fault because he picked the funny ending. He was totally the one that said, but wait, it would be funny, right? Gaslighting <laughs> Duke doing his thing. <laughs> We're misinformation, gaslighting, and not caring. <laughs> no. 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 It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to, uh, to lose. I mean, his life. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I'm in the toilet! <laughs> There's no fucking toilet paper left. It's I gotta be happening. I gotta be This bomb's gonna kill me. <laughs> the detonator is only deactivated for everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the DEAD. And then 81 seconds after, he was shoved in. He crapped himself. That happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? Just look at this. There's a piece there, a piece there. A piece here. You need at least three people to open one of the doors, <laughs> <laughs> including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Exactly. I'm, my bed is Lotus and Xana. Man, do you know I thought that blind people did, uh, didn't have eyes. Turns out they did. You want to see them? That, ah! <laughs> that means we're looking at multiple perps here. That's my line. Oh, shit. Multiple perps here. Junbei crossed his arms and grunted. <laughs> well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the REDs, I think. Right after that he, it was when we noticed he was gone. Then that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Wait! No. When we went to all the places, we, Ace. Saw, we saw Ace, we saw Clover, and we saw Lotus. When we went to the three other places, that wasn't the place. The only person that was in the, um, that was in the, it wasn't here when we went was uh, Santa. So Santa's definitely one of them. We definitely can't trust Santa. <laughs> Santa, what about Ace? What... Ace was in, like, the, he was in the hallways, I think. Yeah, but, but Ace had fucking, Ace had anesthetic. Yeah. He was using it to pass himself out. Yeah. He tested it on himself. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. <laughs> I mean, anybody could be a killer. Anybody. Ooh, wait a minute. It was wait. June. What are you talking about? Throw June overboard. June seems so shocked. What is your identity? I mean, uh, <laughs> how, can, how can you say one of us is killer so casually? Not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? Quiet down, you! <laughs> Quiet, you! Why does Ace suddenly have a deadpan look? Oh, wait, no, he's always had that. <laughs> what are you gonna gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? It's definitely Ace. <laughs> what? what Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and a loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is the winner, and those who don't are losers. Zero was trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. It was one victory, Royale. <laughs> another day, another victory for the OG. <laughs> and you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up and making us fight one another? Yeah, that. <laughs> That's why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. Definitely don't suspish me. <laughs> we have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, it'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. I would never! I would, uh, I... Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake? Yes, almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone else that should, we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Junpei had not really consider that. If Zero had killed Snake, then Zero was on the ship with them. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Oh, you gotta pick what side you're on. Junpei wasn't sure? Of course. <laughs> One of the answers, I fucking know! It's Zero, but Zero is Santa! <laughs> <laughs>
I don't think so. Uh, Zero is all of them except us. Okay. This is a actually a really good thing, because it's like, it's either definitely the people that are definitely here with us right now that we shouldn't trust, or we should just... <laughs> or we should just trust Ace... Who was very? Who was being very suspicious right do now? Do we trust them blindly, or do we uh, 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 call out the bullshit? I'm gonna call out the bullshit, actually. <laughs> call out the bullshit. Yeah. He wasn't sure. Hey, I'm just wondering about one thing. Why are you being? Hey, who's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? It's just I, bro. Shut up! Oh, I mean, shit. Fuck. <laughs> really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually you're rather sharp. No, he isn't. Isn't it obvious? Obvious? For real? How so? This ship. Huh? Zero said this ship several times when he addressed us. I'm Zero. <laughs> I'm the milkman. Oh, it's My me. It's supposed, it's supposed to be me. I'm Zero. The captain of this ship. The purpose of this game is simple. Leave this ship alive. As you have no doubt surmised, this ship has begun to sink. If he, he never once said that ship! <laughs> I'm gonna lose my ship. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say this ship, wouldn't he? He'd be saying something like that ship, or the ship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think of it like that? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I trust you now. <laughs> Ace's explanation made perfect sense. Jubei felt a little foolish that he hadn't seen it himself. Still, he was left with a question, and it was no s one of no small importance. Stop it, Junpei! You made me look sus! If, if Zero's on the ship, where is he? Ooga booga booga! Ah! Suddenly, everyone went very quiet. The silence was cold and clammy, and Junpei could feel it crawling across his back and around his throat. Again, he had heard the ghosting, moaning noise. And moments later, a person who looked more ghost than human appeared. Meow! It was Clover. She looked up at the floor as she spoke, and her voice was a cold monotone. I think... I think Zero is one of us. Ah! Every human body in the room froze, and only sound was the muffled rustling of breath. Eyes darted from face to face. One of those faces went, was the face of their jailer. But who? Junpei? Said? Hmm, well, that's possible. That's crazy! <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's definitely possible. <laughs> It's more than likely. We've been joking about it the entire time, so <laughs> it's definitely possible. We gotta go. We June, gotta who do you think it yeah, is? We gotta stick with it. Yeah. Mm, well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying, Jumpy? Are you accusing me of being Zero? <laughs> no! It's <wait>. totally <laughs> you, bitch! <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason? We just to fucking... <laughs> I've got a great reason. And what's that? What's that, pal? What? The bracelets. He held out his left arm. <laughs> Go <laughs> what, oh, what? Ice! Wait, what's the, what's the term that Ben 10 uses when he's transforming to an alien? It's hero time! That! <laughs> Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to our bracelets? They're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere and watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. Ah. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But, if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Fuck you! <laughs> huh. You got a point. I gotta fix that for next time! You got a point. I'm not done. Ah. Try applying the same ideas to the nonary game. All of the or is it notary? All notary. of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. <laughs> Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? Junpei let the question hang in the air and looked at the others. It was Santa who answered. Because I made it that way. <laughs> so let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Junpei nodded. Seven, when we were talking earlier... He's just dead. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you said any one of us could be the snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. Alright then, I've got a question for you, Ace. 
Eh? You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yeah, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what would, what do we get if we combine those? I'm suddenly dumb now. <laughs> they fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake equals Zero equals one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. No one spoke. Their spaces were their faces were their spaces. <laughs> <laughs> their faces were grim, but Junpei wasn't sure if they believed him or not. Finally, Lo Lotus spoke up. Lotus. I just, Locus. I just love like the, I'm glad that we chose the two options because now Junpei is actually smart now. <laughs> I know, like wow. Instead of just like I should, I feel dumb now. <laughs> Dude, I would love to do an escape room with this guy. Man, the name says Lotus. What's wrong? What? Uh, why is it not Locus? Because she's out of sea. Uh, <laughs> what were his motives? Mermaid. She's got a teacup. Damn. I'm Damn. real. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Junpei. I have lost in wonder. Any mo his motives? Hi, yes. Lotus. <laughs> Isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh. Uh. Well, that's because I'm a uh, fucking... Uh... Junpei choked. So he could be more involved? You haven't thought of that? Yet, yeah, yeah. He had no idea, to be honest with himself. He had no idea. I don't know. Lotus side. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other oh, words... I'm just such a bitch, aren't I? In other words, you only had... You had only circumstantial evidence. Don't, don't be paranoid, everybody. Just trust me. Trust me, guys. <laughs> Seven! I really think that's enough to go on, you know? Junpei was painfully aware of their eyes on him and their disapproval. He tried to find something else, anything uh, I, else to I look at. I just fucking hate Lotus. Just when he could, felt that he could bear it no longer, he got clocked across the head. <laughs> so what? What's happening? They heard a bell begin to ring. It was the clock at the central staircase. In eight in the morning. Three, three in the morning? It's three in the morning. <laughs> That means we have three hours left. Well, I'm over here now. <laughs> then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you're feeling, but you you do understand that right now. It's important we trust one another, don't you? Junpei couldn't bring himself to respond. He swallowed the words he wanted to say inside. Seven and Clover, Clover remained similarly silent. Their eyes were looking at something somewhere else, very far away. We must go. We have very little time left. Ace's words put their feet to moving. They all knew where they were going. Their next destination was Mercury. The planet! It sat bolted to the wall near the stairs that led to the casino in the kitchen between the two elevators. The Mercury card reader. Junpei stood in front of it with the Mercury key card. Seven had given him the car. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. The shower room? At least that's what he said. Junpei had slid the card through the reader. Why would we? Why would it be said like that? Uh -oh. Here's where I got it. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Junpei slid the card through the reader. The light on the reader turned green and it, made a it tiny. It looks like what if an unknown was the gender symbols and it was really mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the light on the reader turned green well, and made a tiny kill you. noise. How dare you assume I'm not <laughs> a just a... <laughs> that I'm not Catholic? <laughs> I'm the god of war! Now they were ready. Was it Mercury or was that Mars? Mercury was, Mars. was like Hermes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the god of moving fast. Travel. Junpei and June have been chosen as the investigators. Their reasoning behind that that they have been to E-Deck before no one else had. As before, Junpei sent the elevator ahead to make sure the floor they were heading to wasn't flooded. As before, the elevator returned as dry when they were left. Once it had been checked for water, Junpei and June stepped forward into the elevator. Die, same looking elevator! There were two, only two floor buttons they could push. The C and bottom buttons. The rest were destroyed or did not, did nothing when pushed. Junpei hit the bottom button. <laughs> Man, Junpei admitted to being a bottom? What? That's right, I pick him. The door closed. Slowly, they began to move downward. Sometime later, Jun, Junpei and Jun stepped off the elevator onto the bottom deck. They stepped off and saw that the hallway to the right ended somewhere between the 20 and 25 feet from them. The hallway in front of them was a dead end. But not a regular dead end. 
Two! This is number door. This is, the, this is the eighth one we've found. Duh! There were two number doors on Bidek near the central staircase. Five and four. There were doors four and five. There were three more numbered doors on the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. Junpei and Jun found another door on E deck, and Lotus and Santa had found on a seventh on A deck. There was a sixth door on E deck, and the one door on the A deck. Four, five, three, seven, eight, six, one. And now door two stood in front of Junpei. There was only one thing that thing it meant. Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. Door 10! What? <laughs> We're all gonna die. The next one's gonna be door 9. Da da da! Despite himself, Junpei felt excited. There was something about that excitement that frightened him as well. He did his best to put it from his mind and headed back to C Deck with June. Holy shit, you know what the root number of all those doors are? What? 9! Whoa! I actually did do the math. Whoa! <laughs> I was curious. Yeah. All right, let's open these up. And we're going to be opening them up next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Goodbye. I think that it's Santa because he's not real. <laughs> I think it's Clover. No. <laughs> Kill their brother, then.